Hey everybody, today's the day we are going to be moving the sports section of the store. This is what I call the sports section. It's gonna go into the back left corner. We're also gonna be moving Nerf if we have time. So the sports section, it's gonna go way back there. And there's a couple different reasons for that. The first one, and this is all through my research, right? From sitting here at the cash register. When people walk in this door, they don't even look over here. They just go right on past it and start about right here. This isn't dead on science. This is just me watching people. What do I think the answer is? What's the best product to display over there? And I think it's gonna be Funko Pops. Now, hear me out, just hear me out. The reason why Funko Pops will work over here when people are looking at Funko Pops, which is, you know, Funko Pop is pretty popular here. It blocks up the aisle. People cannot get through here. It's just kind of a mess. And I think if you put a specialty item over here, like Funko Pops that are popular, you clean all this out a little bit, you're gonna get people in this corner looking at Funko. Everyone else can get around them and you can put anything you want in through here, okay? Does that make sense to anybody else? In my mind, it kind of works. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm gonna move it over. If it doesn't work, the worst thing that can happen is that we just have to move it somewhere else. The Funko Pops went from this wall to this side to this side, and now they are going over here. We haven't bought any Funko in a while, so that collection is kind of dwindling down. We've just been putting our money into other product. So Funko, I mean, it's gonna ebb and flow, right? If we can pick up a big collection for cheap, we will. If not, we don't. But before we jump into all that, I got a couple packages here. One of them is a really cool TMNT sticker. We're gonna check that out real quick. And we'll probably also open this just to see what it is. Now, this was very inexpensive. I think it was like 10 or $11. And this is a sticker. And I just think that will look really cool back there behind the cash register. I am actually thinking maybe right up there. We're going to start filling in these gaps. And right up there looks like a perfect place to start. The good thing with this sticker, it's supposed to be... What do I want to say here? You should be able to peel it on and off. It's supposed to be stickable, man. What I mean by that is you could just put it in one place and if you don't like it, you could put it somewhere else. Now, I don't know if that's going to work in this case. So that's the first thing we're looking at. We'll put that up today, probably after we get the sporting good wall moved. The sporting good wall shouldn't take very long to do. It's only one layer. It should all fit in that tub. It should go pretty quick. The same thing with moving the Funko over. Shouldn't take very long. We've got plenty of shelving. It's kind of already set up. And any overflow Funko I get, I'm gonna put on this spinner because I'll probably move some of this stuff in the middle. This box, I believe, is Halloween decorations. We talked about this a little bit in yesterday's video. If you missed that, jump back, check it out. The front windows of the store we're gonna try to move our big figs out of there, rotate them out and put decorations in the window for the holidays. And I don't know what's all in here. Just some smaller stickers, smaller stickers. And then I got some lights, I think. I'm trying to remember what I ordered, but yeah, I got some lights, Halloween garden. So these are supposed to be for outside but I think they will look really neat inside and I'll put them up high, put them all around. Just some cats that light up there. And what is this? What do we have here, governor? I'm not sure why we do English bottom accent randomly. This would be just some other Halloween decorations. These are bats you can hang up. When I ordered these, I thought they were bigger. These are really small. Halloween will be here before you know it, and I want the store looking sharp, looking lean, looking mean. And what is this right here? Something that is clanking. Sometimes Amazon will combine all your orders into one box, which is smart, right? And what do we have? What the heck is this? Oh, these are really, these are big stickers. So yes, these will look really good in the windows. Big stickers for the windows. And I think I will start decorating for Halloween on the around the 1st of October. 
I'm not going to get into it too much before then. We have other projects we need to do. We'll decorate for Halloween, then we'll do Thanksgiving, and then the big one, Christmas. We want to put off that toy store vibe, and I think decorations in the front windows, that'll be really nice. With my back and my hip and all that kind of stuff, I, I'm going to take my time, but it still should go pretty quick. about five, maybe 10 minutes. It's pretty easy to tear it off, right? But we ended up with two tubs. There's still a little bit going on right here. We're gonna start moving Funko. Now shelving over here might be an issue. I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do it, but I should be able to double stack that Funko and fit a lot of it over there. There's gonna be some extra, okay? I've already kind of planned on that. I'm already starting to question this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the room here. I'm really wondering. I'll, I'll keep pushing on and we'll see how it turns out. There's a lot more Funko on these shelves than you would think. They're packed in there pretty good. This is just the first little shelving unit here. And it already looks a lot better than having all the sporting goods stuff over here. Now, is it ideal? Not necessarily. If you're looking through these Funko, you're going to have to look through these Funko. They're double stacked. You got Funko behind Funko. And like I said, ideal. I don't know, but we're committed at this point. I just realized something. I probably could have gotten another layer on here if I'd have dumped this shelf down a little bit, but this is kind of what the end product's going to look like. Again, not the best setup, but it looks a heck of a lot better than it did. And we're gonna have some leftover, okay? I was only able to get like this much. So I'm gonna finish clearing this off and I'll probably leave this one for now until we sell some more down and then I will work it into this wall. Okay, I got sidetracked. Where were we at here? Funko moved it over here. Looks pretty good. We had to keep some runoff Funko right here, but that did open up some shelves right here. We've got a lot of extra Barbie, our generation. There's just a lot of little extra things that are packed on the shelves. There's all kinds of stuff that could go here. I'm gonna think about it a little bit and probably just try to button up the store. I might be out of commission tomorrow and Thursday. I've got some doctor's appointments and I'm not sure what all I'm gonna get done before we open Wednesday. We've got the sporting goods stuff back here. I'm not in a super big rush to get that done. This stuff is not that popular. I might go eat first, but that's going to go right in here. And the stuff that is right here, we're going to be moving into this area a little bit. This is kind of a mess right here. It doesn't look good. I mean, look at this. We got things just stacked in here. I don't know. I don't like it. That was part of the reason for the move. And yeah, I'm going to put the TMNT sticker up right now. And I'm gonna put it up here. And the reason I'm gonna put it up there is because my ladder will go right there. We kind of get a chance to see what it looks like. And supposedly you can take it off and on if you don't like where it's at. <laughs> I got this up and you can kind of see the wrinkles. There's some wrinkles in there. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna pull those wrinkles out and add the feet and the hands and stuff. But I like it. Looks pretty good up there. We got that up, it looks okay, it really does. Anything to kind of close that space helps a lot. I'm gonna get some of this stuff I got laying on the floor, get it on the shelves here, and then I think we're gonna call it a day. I'm gonna go get some lunch anyway. Here's the thing, there's a bunch of this our generation stuff scattered all over the store. It is pretty popular. We have a lot of it just hiding, taking up space in the middle. I'm gonna kind of do an our generation thing right here. I think that'll help out a little bit. It'll look good. And hopefully it'll help with the sales of the R generation toys. So much of this stuff. Lots of variety. 
I gotta think that moving it where people can see it is going to help. There's our generation stuff just hanging. It needs to go on a shelf and free up some space for more Barbie. That's another thing. This stuff is taking up space down here. It's all over the place. And putting it right here on this shelf, I think it'll be okay. Some of it in your head. I don't know at this point. That didn't take that long and it looks way better than having it stacked down here. It was all over the place. And look how much shelf space we opened up. All of this, this right here needs to get cleaned up, but it opened up everything that was down there. And as you can see, you have toys just kind of stacked on top of each other. We really want to get away from that. That's going to be a video. We did get some stuff done. It looks a lot better. I'm really digging the art generation stuff right there. I like the Funko here. Now we got to figure out what we're doing with all that sports stuff. But I hope everybody's having a great week. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace.